This video is going to go back to the basics on uh, sleep apnea. What causes it? Well, first of all, what is it? What does it look like? What does it sound like? Then we'll talk about what causes it. Then we'll go into a little bit more about how you can find out uh, if you've got sleep apnea uh, from the comfort of your own home. Uh, then we'll go a little bit deeper into some discussion about uh, what to do next. So, <clears throat> first of all, what does it sound like? So this is snoring. It's not exact. It's not sleep apnea. This is the soft palate in the back of the tongue getting into the airway as this person breathes. Now this is what it sounds like. Let's go back and start here. Okay, this person stops breathing at this point. I'm not going to, we're not going to wait until they start again. I'm going to fast forward over. <laughs> 43 seconds without breathing. So this person's uh, blood oxygen decreased significantly. CO2 increased. Um, it finally woke him up. So he started... <laughs> breathing again. Now, uh, when he bre started bre woke up and started breathing again, his blood oxygen increased, his CO2 decreased. Uh, meanwhile, in addition to waking up, he had uh, catecholamines or epinephrine firing. Uh, all uh, These are hormones and again, he's lost sleep. People will typically get uh, 30 of these episodes in an hour every every hour that they sleep. Now this next video is a good video from um, Mayo Clinic on the issues. Let me, <laughs> let me stop that one. Okay, let's go to the, to the Mayo Clinic video. This is a school uh, principal, a uh, fairly young man in his 40s, I think. And uh, he's got a problem with sleep apnea as well. This will show a laboratory uh, sleep study. Um, I'll show a, a different type of sleep study at the end of the video. Uh, it'll also go into a little bit of detail on exactly what's going on. What causes this? What do you do if you think you have it? A sleep study during which you go in for overnight monitoring can help your doctor confirm the diagnosis. He said you actually stopped breathing 70 times every hour. No wonder Todd was always tired. You see, snoring happens when the back of your tongue and throat relax and restrict airflow. If you have obstructive sleep apnea, your throat relaxes to the point where it blocks breathing. A CPAP machine is a device you wear over your nose. It provides air pressure while you breathe, which keeps the back of your throat open. The device made a huge difference in Todd's life. Because of this is a little more stylized version, but it gets the point across. He's not getting air movement right now, but it's showing where it should be. Epinephrine firing, he's waking up. So I'll put the, um, the links to all of these videos under, uh, in the description under this one. So wondering if you've got that, uh, you know you snore, you, maybe you got some feedback that, uh, that you do and you wonder if you have sleep apnea, um, <clears throat> but don't want to go through that full, uh, the hassle and the cost associated with doing that full uh, polysomnography, the sleep lab, there, and wondering are there some uh, home solutions? Actually, there are. Uh, I did a video on a home solution that I tried uh, about a year ago. We'll play about uh, a little bit less than a minute of that clip. It's, 
It's called the Itamar Watchpad, I-T-A-M-A-R, Watchpad. And we'll give you some information on that below. Now, is it the greatest? It's not the greatest. No, it's no replacement at all for a full-blown sleep lab. But it, um, it gives you some interesting information. The Itamar Watchpad, this is what it looks like. And <clears throat> here's some instructions. So um, <clears throat> they're actually, they seem pretty clear. Now here's what, what the watch pad does. It has a, a pulse oximetry, pulse, what we call pulse ox here, um, and on a watch device. It also has a wire that goes up to attach to a snore detector. So basically this is a, a home, an easy home method <clears throat> for looking at the quality of sleep. Um, when you open it up, it's got the same picture that you saw a minute ago when I did the, the um, opened up the device, the box, and it's got more of a uh, diagrammatic um, view with instructions on putting on the wire, the device, the watch, and the pulse ox. So let's uh, let's try it. Before we do, though, a brief. So I'm standing here thinking, boy, that's kind of weird waiting for myself to finish talking. And I guess it probably looks kind of weird for you as well. Thanks for your patience. Uh, and we're going to go into a little bit more uh, detail on what this looks like in just a few minutes. Well, that wasn't a few minutes. It wasn't even a few seconds. I uh, wanted to get, try to be uh, quicker than I had promised. So just to go over a few things that we've covered in other videos on this. You, you saw this, it's a, it's a vicious cycle that kills. You get decreased uh, upper airway muscle tone, obstruction, and then uh, hypopnea, which is decreased breathing, or full-blown apnea, which is no breathing at all. You get increase of your ox, uh, decrease of oxygen in the blood, elevated CO2, uh, increased ventilatory effort. Then it, you wake up. Uh, when you wake up, you start breathing again, and you get relief your oxygen goes back up, your CO2 goes back down, and you go back to sleep. But again, as you saw, this can happen, routinely happens about 30 uh, per hour. Uh, in Todd, in the Mayo video, it's happening 70 times per hour. As important as sleep is, it's critical to our health. And <clears throat> to get interrupted uh, 70 times per hour with a whole bunch of epinephrine, adrenaline, uh, catecholamine release, no wonder we have it's such a health problem. Again, as you saw in the video, uh, what we're, what's causing obstructive sleep apnea, and there are other types of sleep apnea. A central sleep apnea is caused by um, uh, central, meaning uh, in the, there are things going on in the brain. I'll cover that later. Uh, that's a, uh, a type of sleep apnea that occurs with uh, heart failure. And there's a long article with a great um, a great infographic. But again, this is the regular obstructive sleep apnea. You don't have to be obese for this to happen. Uh, I have it. Uh, my daughter inherited it from me. It tends to happen if you have a, uh, a high arch, uh, which is often caused by having a small jaw. And um, when you do have that small jaw, when you're young and your arch is being formed, your tongue is pushing up against it. Now, <clears throat> What are the treatments? The go-to treatment is still CPAP. You saw it on the video. And that is rough. It does actually uh, improve a lot of people's uh, health, their life, or at least their lifestyle, uh, their mental health. Anxiety drops, um, uh, depression drops. But again, you got to have a sense of humor to wear this thing. Um, <clears throat> The, the pictures speak for themselves. For those of you that don't know, that's the, the alien, the face hugger on, uh, on the alien. And somebody made a, a CPAP device that looked like that. We've already talked about huge uh, impacts on hormones from sleep and loss of sleep. And then in addition, the catecholamine release, um, big issues associated with uh, sleep apnea. In other videos, I've covered uh, nocturia, uh, urinating at night. Uh, more than two uh, episodes of urinating at night does appear to be a screening. It's a screening tool for uh, sleep apnea. Why? 
because these hormones that are uh, like the catecholamines and some of the others um, also cause you to, uh, they're a diuretic, they cause you to urinate more. So if you're going to the bathroom more than twice per night, this is something to be, cons uh, to be thinking about. In other videos we've covered CPAP, does it actually work? And again, the, uh, uh, the answer was, well, it works, at least in terms of helping with anxiety and depression. Uh, this was a large study looking at um, people that already had cardiovascular disease, and it didn't show a significant uh, reversal of the cardiovascular disease. Now, does that mean that it doesn't work and that you shouldn't use CPAP? No. We did another video looking at, uh, it's an editorial talking about why that might have failed. One of the biggest reasons is the problem that we're all, most of us are aware, are aware of. It's hard to keep that mask on your face. Um, so people tend to wear it uh, three, three, uh, less than four hours a night. And they also wear it those first four hours that they go to, go to sleep. When they really need it is when the sleep apnea happens, which is later in the uh, sleep episode. But again, a lot of people are getting um, an, a greatly improved quality of life, and that's one of the reasons you continue to see uh, so much use of CPAP. The other reason is there's not a lot of other options. There's uh, one other set of options. They're called oral devices that are meant to take your uh, jaw and pull it down and forward to make more room for your tongue. We'll cover those in another video. Um, as usual, if you've made it this far, really appreciate your uh, interest and attention.